Good morning students, it's me, teacher Richard. Do you know what day it is today? Today is Tuesday. Do you know what date it is today? The date is the 21st, 21, 21st of September 2021. And we will finish some exercises with the phonics the letter F and V. And please repeat after me. F. Feet. Fish. Fork. V. Van. <clears throat> One more time, repeat after me. Van. Vase. Violin. And let's do it one more time. Please listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. F. Feet, fish, fork, V, Th. van, vase, violin. Okay, excellent. And I will, we will actually do it one more time. Please follow me and let's look at the sound and how your mouth should look when you make the sound. So please follow me and let's practice the phonics a little bit more. So I want you to listen and repeat one more time and please look at the mouth and make the same sound and the same movements with your mouth as the video. So let's practice F. F. And let's practice V, 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 And let's do the words one more time. Let's do the vocabulary. Repeat after me. Feet. Fish. Fork. Van, vase, violin. Excellent. Now let's do a few exercises in the workbook. Please follow me. Please take out your workbook and open your workbook on page 27. Please open your workbook on page 27. Phonics time. And there are three exercises on page 27. Exercise A is circle the words that begins with the letter. Which pictures begin with the letter. Please circle. Exercise B is look and write the word. So you look at the picture and you write the word. And you can look at the top of the page. You have help at the top of the page. And exercise C, match and say. Big letter with a small letter, capital letter and, and small letters. Please 
match and say. So you say D, D, N, M, K, K, P, P, B, B, W, 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 F, F, G, G, M, M, V, V, and H. So try to remember the sound that the letter make and say it. And if it's difficult, you can think of a word that begins with that letter. So if you don't remember how M sounds, you can think monkey. And M is the sound that the letter M makes. Do your best. Use a ruler so it's straight lines connect small letters and big letters. Okay, please do your homework. This is your homework for tomorrow. And I have one more thing that I want you to do that's a little bit important. So please do your homework and then we can look at the next slide. And then, actually, I only have one more thing for you to do today. A couple of weeks ago, on the first day, we had an online test with Google Forms, which is you click on a link in the description and you take the test. And you need to answer your first and last name. I want your nickname this time. I want your student number. The student number is very important. And I want the grade or the class you are in. And then you answer the questions in the form. And I will put the link in the description on YouTube to this video. So click on the link in the description on the page on YouTube. Please click the link in the description and I will ask teacher Pia, Pok and Ning to send you a link in line as well. And please don't worry about the test. It's more for me to look and see how many that answer. I want everyone to answer and follow the instructions. So please do your best. And that's all for today. Thank you very much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Oh, hi everybody! Today I am going to talk to you about the numbers and counting. Maybe even spaghetti. Oh, I love spaghetti. Okay, so one thing we use numbers for is when we are counting. And we can count using our voice. Voice! Let's try it. I want everybody to count and say the numbers from 1 to 10 out loud using your voice. Use your voice! Okay, ready? Go! 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha <laughs> ha! Good job! But did you know we can also write numbers? No, it's true! We call them numerals. Numerals! For example, the number one looks like this, and you can write it like this. And the number two looks like this, and you can write it like this. So let us count again to 10 using our voices and watching how we write the numbers. Okay, ready? Go! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
eight, nine, ten. Wow, you did such a good job. I think it may be time to celebrate. Yay! Okay, that's enough. So, we can say numbers and we can write numbers, but did you know we can also use numbers to count actual things we see every day? Oh, yes, we can. Let us use an example. Oh, what should we use? Hmm, hey, I know. How about spaghetti? Spaghetti! Wow, that is a big meatball. Okay, so if I ask you, how many plates of spaghetti do you see, what would you say? That's right, there is one plate of spaghetti. We can say the one, one. We can write the one. And there is actually one plate of spaghetti. See? One! Now, how many plates of spaghetti do you see? That's right, there are two plates of spaghetti. We can say two, two. This is how we write two. And there are one, two plates of spaghetti. So now let's count to ten again together while watching the plates of spaghetti. Okay, ready? Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, great. I think you really like spaghetti. Now, let's count something out. Hmm, how about the letter X? I said letter X! Say hi to the letter X. How many letter X's do you see? There are, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. There are five letter X's. We can say five, five. and we can write five, and we know from counting them there are actually five letter X's. See? One, two, three, four, five. So even if the X's go all the way over there, there are still five. One, two, three, four, five. And even if they are spread out, there are still five. One, two, three, four, five. Even if they are upside down, there are still five. One, two, three, four, five. Even if they are upside down, purple with green polka dots and all with mustaches, there are still five. One, two, three, four, five. Ho ho, good job counting. I think it may be time to celebrate. Yay!